Yeah, like a lot of guys they kind of be like, bro, how you great calves? And it's like, like, are you really hitting them? You know what I'm saying? Before you ask the question, like, are you really hitting your calves consistently? You know, three, four times a week. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all it is, bro. Like, yeah. So today's push day with my man Jalen Sales. Um, we're starting off with calves because I mean everybody needs calves. So um, with it being a, a smaller muscle group and uh, less fatiguing, um, I think it's only right to throw it in there to start the push day. Um, so after this, we'll get into our first uh, shoulder movement. Probably do one movement of shoulders and then get into some pressing stuff. Bro, like a motherfucker, bro. I 
think like the real reason is this bitch is burn when you were. Yeah, <laughs> it was all the leverage. That's, that's the real reason. Yeah. That's the real reason I must have been working out. It's like a different burn, bro. It's not like your, your lat or your chest. Yeah, it's just bro, that shit's like an annoying burn, bro. You're on them all day. So we got two sets here. So um, Jalen's finishing up. Um, then we're gonna actually run over to the cables. We're gonna do um, a little bit of lat detail, but mainly um, to kind of activate those secondary control uh, groups of muscles around the shoulders to uh, almost signal, signal them to keep the shoulders in a neutral position and depress. I want to get into the pressing movement. So, let's go. So when you're pulling back, really contract here. All right. Squeezing at the bottom. Yeah, squeezing all that that back muscle right here. All right. And then we'll do uh, internal.
Isolation of the lats was more so for the vertical fibers, but also for stability when we get into the pressing movements. This move right here is gonna be more for the horizontal fibers. All right. So, we're gonna turn where your, your right, your, your opposite arm shoulder is gonna be pointing at the cam. So you see I'm in full stretch here. So we're looking at the stretch position right here. Come around. You're gonna, see, you're gonna stand up a little bit taller than you did before. And a slight external rotation of the shoulder. Right here. So bring the elbow to the ribcage.
with some preparatory movements, stability movements, um, before we get to our first pressing movement, which is gonna be dumbbell, 35 to 45 degree angle uh, incline on the dumbbell press uh, on the bench. Uh, so, let's go. We're about to work now. Obviously, we're gonna work our way into it, but we're not, we're not gonna know. Uh, so, I'm gonna start with probably a 40, and kind of just feel the movement. And so, when you, when you get into yours, I'm gonna kind of make sure that you're executing the right way, all right? I'm bringing, back, I'm bringing back the hip man. <laughs> hey, bro, why you wearing the hip man, bro? I'll be fucking balling out. <laughs> Think about is driving those pecs, those uh, biceps to your pecs. So there's no tension at the top of this, but we can create that tension to get a little extra stimulus at the top. So at the top, think about driving those, those biceps to your pecs. Good squeeze. Without the elbow touch. Good. Just a small isolation at the top. Good. There you go. Yep. Hard as possible. Yeah. Like we're bodybuilders, we're not like powerlifters or anything like that. The whole point, bro, is to try to make this shit as hard as possible on the muscle that we're targeting, right? Huh. And so if you think about it, you're never gonna be able to fucking bench press 200 pounds, 300 pounds, bro. Like you're never gonna get there. Yeah. <laughs> right. So like, unless you're gonna sacrifice hella form. Yeah. So try to progress as much as you can with that same form throughout every load, bro. I guarantee you get to a point where it's like, all right, this is enough, you feel me?
So this is gonna wrap it up for this push session. We got about three more moments to go. My man Sergio gotta go. Y'all stay tuned. We got more content coming for you. Make sure you click the link in the bio. I mean, not the bio. Click the uh, like button down below. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.